And because this is for a, a young baby, a young child, I'm just going to do this as um, 12 inches long in length. Okay, so I need 22 inches. So that is... Oh, let me do it the other way, an easier way. Okay, here's my 12 inch ruler. Okay, save me some trouble, just doing it twice. Okay, so I know from here, I'm just gonna hold my finger here, to all the way to the end. This is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, this is 21 inches long. I'm gonna, nope, you can't go short. You gotta have a piece that is, yeah, you can actually. We're gonna do this, this is 22 inches long. So, usually this comes from a piece of fabric that is 44 inches wide. And I know I need to go up by 12 inches. Cause I want it 12 inches long, but I need a piece to attach to the front of the bodice and to the back that is 22 inches long. So, this is where I'm going to do my cutting. I just need 12 inches. Um, what did I do with my pencil? Oh, there it is. Okay, so I need 12 inches. I'm just going to make some little marks on the fabric because you're going to, you won't see this anyway. Um, oh, let me think for a minute. Yeah, okay, 12 inches. So it's easy with fabric if you just kind of measure it, make little points look along the way where you know you're going to cut at the 12 inch mark or you could just fold the fabric in half and cut it but it's just going to be a little bit easier i know it's kind of hard for you to maybe see this on this fabric but you'll see and this is actually a 44 inches wide piece of fabric so um when it's folded in half it is 22 inches so that won't be a problem now, if you have using, um, making a different size pattern, obviously, um, you need to make sure you cut it the right length and width. So, I'm just going to follow these lines that I've cut along here. Okay, and put this out of the way. Okay, now you have your 22 inch piece of fabric. It's actually got a fold line, so I'm going to cut the fold cut right down this fold and trust me there are other ways to create this type of dress this just happens to be the way I do it with this particular pattern so if you'll watch if you're watching this video you'll see that it works okay we now have our 22 inch piece and we need to attach this to the bodice piece so that it looks really really pretty and really really ruffly like here's a dress that I had finished earlier same pattern same size and I'll show you how to get all this pretty ruffly part and you can actually see this dress is unfinished so you have that rough edge whereas if I had used this piece it would be totally finished okay so let me set this aside set this aside and show you the next step you've got your piece cut okay so what you want to do is you just want to make a base seam stitch all the way down. Okay? I'll show you. I'll do that and come back and show you what we're going to do next. So hopefully you can see this. But I have a very uh, straight, well not very straight, but I have a straight base seam stitch. And a base seam stitch is just a stitch that's a little bit wider than your normal stitch. And you want to do that because it allows you to um, put a little bit of a ruffle into the dress, the item that you're creating. And you'll notice you have two threads at the end of your, uh, your stitch here. And all you want to do is just pull ever so slightly. Just hold it with one hand and just pull. Just pull. You're just pulling and pushing the fabric down gently. Now, this looks hard, but it's really not. And if the thread breaks or something, you know what? Just start over. 
just do it again just run another stitch in there it's not that big of a deal um trust me on this and just keep pulling you hold and you just pull so you get all the way to the end and i know you're saying well how much ruffle should it be how will i know if it's too ruffly well i'm gonna show you just hang tight so i'm gonna get all the way to my end here okay and it doesn't matter so much right now how this part is because now what you're going to do take your bodice piece i'll start with the front piece of the bodice just take it okay and we're going to work on because you got to put the right sides together now what i do let me see if i can do this this way okay Here's your bodice. Sorry about that. And here is your the skirt part. All right. Now I start by pinning. Wait, you pin that and then it goes down. Yeah. Pinning one edge. Pin the edges together. And then that way you'll know where you're going. And then I actually start to open it up just a wee little bit. Just a little bit. We're not ready to finish up with our ruffles just yet. Our little frilly front piece here. And as I've started going to the stores, you know, looking at examples of children's clothes, I notice that a lot of the children's clothing is made very, very, very similar. Um, as you notice, I kind of messed up here. And I have the selvage edge. And I'm just going to cut it off. Yes, I know it's just, I'm cutting crooked and I shouldn't do it like this. But we want to take that piece off. So then we're just going to pin to the edge. Because you need to kind of know what your limitations are um, in terms of when you're going to stitch straight down. So now what you want to do, you're just going to neaten this up. Just neaten it up as you go along. Neat, neat, neat. Just keep it neat, keep it straight, look at your, your little ruffles or your little pleeps, whatever you want to call them, ruffles, pleeps, whatever. As once again, like I said, I'm not the, the sewing professional you might think I am, but I can pretty much craft something and figure out how it's put together and show other people and you'll end up with a pretty decent looking product okay so now i've got it all nice and neat where i want everything to go and then i'm gonna pin this down so it doesn't scoot around while i'm sewing and i'm going to make a simple straight stitch and you might still want to keep a basting stitch going in case it's not exactly how you would like it to be then you can just pull that stitch out and do it over and I find, you know, if you do have to pull stitches out, I sit and wait and do that when I'm watching TV and keeps you busy, then you don't rush and then you don't make even more of a mess. But just make sure, just take your time, have it pinned really, really well. And it's going to come out really, really pretty. I promise you that. Okay. And you can, you'll be able to use this technique on pretty much any dress you make in this same style. Okay, so let me go take it over to the sewing machine. Okay, as you can see, we've taken all the pins out. Okay, so this is just one side of the dress. Now we're going to open it up and I'll show you what you got. Ooh, pretty. So see, that's the beginnings of... Your dress, you are almost done. Now you just got to attach the back and stitch up the side. Okay, you've attached the skirt piece to the front bodice. So, oops, sorry. So you have your the front piece taken care of. So now you're going to attach the bodice piece to the back. And... It's really important because remember, in this particular dress, you're going to add a little snap to just keep it uh, for the enclosure. So, what you want to do, on the wrong side obviously, you make sure you pin 
your back piece together. Just pin it for now because when you put the buttons on or the snaps, it'll be fine. But make sure your armholes line up nice and evenly. And then just once again, repeat the same process in uh, attaching your skirt, the bottom piece, to um, the bodice, to the top part. Okay, and just to be clear, you want to make sure you pin the right sides together like this. You have your pink there, your back enclosures here, and you're going to stitch. You're going to stitch right along here, and that'll make your um, that'll help you. Then you'll be finished with the back the back of the dress. So just stitch directly along there, and remember, make sure you get it on the right side. Okay. I wanted to show you this part that once you have your front and back piece, um, the skirt part attached, you want to make sure you line up the at the underarm point. And then make sure you flatten out that hem, that point that you stitched, okay? You want to flatten this out so it won't be bulky on the dress part. So just going to stick that through. And then we're going to stitch all the way down the side of the dress. Okay. Ta-da! Here we are. You're almost done. You have the front. You did the bodice. You did the skirt part. Let's flip it over. Here's the back. And you're going to put a little button here. I have another video for you on how to do a snap. Uh, a little snap button in the back and that is pretty much almost all there is to it now you want to go back through your sewing and double check for any loose threads anything that might be showing um, and just clip those off and you are good to go and you made an adorable little dress I'm gonna do a different little um, portion for you on how to do the um, the hem you can do either a rolled hem you can do a rolled hem um you can just do you could do a ruffle there's a lot of things you could do now for the inside of the dress this edging the parts that you have in here this seam what you want to do is go all the way around and maybe do like a little zigzag stitch and also trim a lot of this excess these little threads that are hanging so your finished product will look much more professional and remember practice makes perfect you might not get it right the first time but just take the stitches out relax I would say start with some plain practice fabric some muslim or um, broadcloth and just keep it simple you know get a good practice especially if you're making um, bridesmaids dresses or special little party dresses and you spend a lot of money on fabric and you don't want to you know mess it up so practice first make a little dress and have fun most of all do have fun with it thanks for watching bye